Can you use Keurig K-Cups with your Keurig View single serve brewer? Well, you can, and I'm going to tell you how you can do that today on aromacup.com. Today, I'm going to be reviewing a very cool new accessory from our friends at Solofill. Now, Solofill has been making for quite some time now a number of accessories that allow you to brew your own coffee in Keurig single serve brewers. Their newest innovation, which I think is one of the coolest that I've seen, is the Solofill version 2. I've got the packaging here and I've got the cup laid out in front of me because we're going to talk about how you can use it to brew K cups using a view machine. What? I know, it's weird, isn't it? You wouldn't really think that because for a long time I've been saying here on aromacup.com that you cannot use K-cups with your view brewer, but now you can because of the Solo Fill version 2. So let's talk about what's in the package with the Solo Fill version 2 and then we'll show you how you can use it with your Keurig view machine. So before I launch into this, I'm just going to show you a view cup real quick so you know what they look like. The view cups are very different from K-cups. Put them side by side here. They're very, very different, as you can see. And so I've been saying for a very long time now that with these two cups, there would not be any crossover. You could only use the K-cup in a K-cup machine and the view in a view machine. And because of Solo Fill, that's no longer going to be the case. So you can see they're very different. Now, here's how Solo Fill has fixed this. And let me show you what comes in the package with the Solo Fill version 2. You're going to get the gold-plated filter. Now this is for being able to brew your own ground coffee. So if you have ground coffee that you prefer to use, you can brew that using the, uh, the Solo Fill Edition for your view machine. Now you've always been able to do this using a Solo Fill because of the Solo Fill version 1, which I have right here. We've reviewed it. You can check out our video for more information about the V1. But the V2 changes things up a little bit. In addition to that filter, which is going to let you brew ground coffee, you're going to get an additional adapter for the Solo Fill version 2. Now you're going to notice that what this adapter has on it is a needle, much like the needle that we've seen on the inside of the brew basket on Keurig K-Cup machines. This is going to slide into the body of the Solo Fill, which I have right here. It looks just like many of the other Solo Fills. It's red, and in this case it has the shape of a view cup so that it will work in a view machine. But what we're going to do is we're going to take this adapter and we're going to add this into the Solo Fill. Now that is clicked in there and what this is going to do is mimic the brew basket on a Keurig K-Cup brewer. And this is going to allow me to brew a K-Cup in my view machine. Let's show you how I can do that using the Solo Fill version 2. Now I should note that normally the Solo Fill version 2 will have the lid attached to the top of it and the lid just closes up. But if you're going to be brewing a K-Cup using this adapter, you're going to want to remove the lid, and you can do that by just sort of lightly pushing down in order to remove it. Now it's away from the body of the Solo Fill. You can set that aside because you're not going to use that or the basket when you are brewing a K-Cup. I'm going to take this Green Mountain Special Reserve Columbia Geisha. You know it's Special Reserve because it's got gold foil on the top. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to push it into the Solo Fill. And I'm just going to sort of push down, and this is going to puncture using that needle. Now I have noticed that sometimes it's not that easy in order to get the K-cup to actually be punctured by that needle. You sort of have to find the sweet spot and push down in order to puncture that K-cup. So it might take a little bit of learning, but once it's in there, you're ready to brew. Now again, as I say, I don't have a lid on the Solo Fill. I'm just going to open up my View Machines brew basket, and I'm going to add the Solo Fill close the view machine, and now I've already selected my brew size, I'm just going to press the brew button. Now the very cool thing about this is that you're going to save a lot of money as a result because K-cups are less expensive than view cups. And there are so many varieties of K-cups at this point that you're going to be able to find probably the exact type of beverage that you really like and be able to get that specific drink that you're looking for. But you're going to get the ease of single serve by making use of a machine like the View. Uh, I love the View machine because it's very quick and it's very easy to use. But again, these View packs, they can be a little bit pricey and they're a little bit restricted because there is not the full expanse of awesome beverages that you can get with a K-Cup in the View packs right now. So Solo Fill has managed to bridge that gap 
with the solo fill version too. And we're just on the edge of my cup here, so I'm going to be careful. But that right there is a cup of coffee made using a K-cup in the Keurig View machine. Now, cleanup is pretty easy. Again, it's sort of a little bit finicky because you are going to have to take out that spent K-cup and then do away with that. But this is an awesome way to be able to use K-cups in your view machine and do it very quickly. And as I say, I think you're going to save a lot of money as a result from this. So how can you add the solo fill version to to your at-home coffee shop? Well, on pricing, you're looking at about $19.99. So that's not too bad for the versatility that you're going to get with the solo fill version too. Where can you buy it? Check out the link in the description of our video so you can find out how to add this to your at-home coffee shop. So what's the bottom line on the solo fill version too? Well, it's a very, very cool addition, I think, to the single serve world. Uh, I will say that it's a little bit hard to get that K-cup to be punctured by that needle from time to time. I found myself having to fiddle with it a little bit until it locks down and gets fully punctured. After that, it's very easy to use. I think the needle could be maybe a little bit sharper uh, or something along those lines. So what would I say would be the best thing to do when adding this to your at-home coffee shop? Get two, because if you get two, you can use one specifically just for K-cups, and that way you can just brew K-cups to your heart's content. And then you can use your second to brew using that gold-plated filter that you can add to the solo fill version too, and you can brew your own ground coffee very easily. So with two of these, you would have the ease and the versatility and the speed to be able to make many, many different beverages and do it very quickly using the speed of the Keurig View. So bottom line, great addition to the world of single serve and certainly a very, very cool innovation coming from Solo Fill. Really like everything they do and they're certainly giving you a lot of great ways to be able to expand the beverages you can make with your Keurig Brewer. So there you go, guys. That is the Solo Fill version 2 coming to you, of course, from Solo Fill. Make sure to check out our other videos about the options from Solo Fill, the Keurig View, and all of our other single serve reviews here on AromaCup.com. I want to thank you guys for joining me in my virtual coffee shop. And as always, enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Mm -hmm.